We have two problems here. Firstly, £12,000 invested at 4.5% compound interest over three years. What's my investment worth at the end of that period of time? Secondly, a car I purchased for £9,600 decreases by 30% each year for three years. What is it worth at the end of that period of time? So let's look at this first one. Note. If I am having an interest of 4.5%, my multiplier is going to be 1.045. So at the end of the first year, I will have 1.045 times my £12,000. That's my first year. My second year, I will take this amount and multiply it by 1.045. That's the end of the second year. My third year, take this amount and multiply it by 1.045. So it can be times 1.045 times... 1.045. I'm going to show you a quick way in a second of doing all this. It looks rather long-winded, but I want to emphasize 1.045 times 1.045 times 1.045. This will be 1.045 to the power of 3 times my original amount. And so I can go from my investment invested at 4.5%, the multiplier is 1.045 for three years. So I have 1.045 to the power of three times 12,000. That I would go from here to there in one step. Now, calculator time. On my calculator, I have 1.045 to the power of three, and I have a little up arrow button, rather similar to what you might get on your computer at home. So I will go to the power of three times 12,000. I'm just being very careful how I put it in, and I get the answer 13,693.9935. So my answer will be, allowing for the fact my bank would round down to the nearest penny, £13,693.99p. and p. Just be careful with the odd decimal places. So summarise, find your multiplier, number of years that we're having our investment for, times our principal sum at the start, then get the calculator. For this one here, back of my mind, immediately Carl's going down by value. So I know that my answer is going to be less than 9,600. So the multiplier in this case is going to be, well, if it's going down by 30%, I am left with 70%. 70% is 0.7. I found that by saying decreasing by 30%, 30 away from 100 gives me my multiplier of 0.7. And similarly now, the answer of how much it is worth, it is worth, is going to be my multiplier to the power of the number of years. Just read the question again, three years, 0 0.7 to the power three, times 9,600 and equals. Go to my calculator, 0 0.7 to the power of three, times 9600 equals, and this time I get the answer, 3,292 pounds ATP. And can you see, it's gone down by roughly two thirds of its value. Please notice, when I'm doing compound interest, I'm adding interest onto the interest I've already earned. You don't, don't, do three times 4.5%. We need the multiplier and its power. If a car goes down by 30% each year for three years, 
3 times 30, 90, take off 90. That's not the way to do it. We need to find the multiplier to its power times the sum we started with. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. So 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.